Hi, this is Manish. Today I'm going to tell about aggregated transformation in Informatica and uh, I will explain how aggregator works internally in Informatica and how to increase performance of uh, aggregated transformation. So uh, let's start with uh, explaining how uh, aggregator works. So aggregator So aggregator, aggregator basically uh, this is a cache transformation it, it used cache so what type of cache aggregator basically use Aggre aggregator use uh, index cache and data cache so what we hold in index cache and what we hold in data cache we all uh, all know like uh, or uh, in aggregator we have to define some group and we, we can perform any summation um, if you want to take a max or something so these kind of uh, operation we can perform using aggregator transformation so the grouping port should be in index cache group port and data cache suppose if you are doing summation using some group so these will be here so aggregator use basically two type of cache one is index cache and another is data cache in index cache means uh, uh, which holds group uh, grouping condition and data cache holds uh, some or max or something or some aggregate aggregation part so how it works basically like how uh, Inform Informatica execute aggreg aggregator. So, for example, uh, suppose if we have uh, if we have employee, suppose number uh, some department number is there ten. And in that department, suppose first employee salary is uh, suppose three hundred. Second is suppose twenty number department salary is suppose five hundred. Now again three zero and salary is eight hundred. Next again ten comes suppose for some other employee salary is suppose five hundred. Again twenty suppose comes then that would be suppose 600 then again 10 comes so this time suppose it is 800 so these these are these are the input data we are getting so what basically we want we want aggregate aggregation values to to be in the target table like we want department wise total salary so that will be for 10 for 10 it will be 300, 5, 800 and 8, 1600 should be in the target against department number 10. For 20, it should be 500 and 600, 1100. And for 30, it should be 800. So how, uh, how Informatica aggregator uh, do that thing? So we all are we all aware of these cache index and data cache so here in this department number we are performing group by and the summation part we are applying sum in the aggregator informatica aggregator so suppose for 10 it will go to this index cache it will create one index and because this is a sum operation so here it will give sum and first value we all know informatica execute row by row so, so first row will be this one 10 and 300 so 10 in it will uh, the index cache will hold 10 and data cache will hold 300 but it is not completed yet because in future we can get more uh, 10 departments salary so it is on hold now again 20 comes 
this is 20 then sum of 20 sum of second record 500 again 30 comes then it will hold sum and 800 rupees the fourth record again 10 so it will go to same index cache it is and it will add 500 in same data cache again 20 so this time 20 having uh, 600 rupees so 600 will be here and again 10 so it will go to this 800 last record will go to index cache 10 after this it will it will start sending record by record to the next expression or next uh, ta next uh, uh, transformation so this time uh, it will it will give this result after this it will go to this okay so here uh, after computing everything it will go to the next level so we can ask one question why not here we are seeing some performance issue here we have only few records if we have millions of record so this index cache and data cache will hold so many things so it is de degrading our performance so how to improve our performance what all options are present in aggregator to improve the performance so in aggregator we have sorted input and before sending anything to aggregator we will short our incoming data okay so short, short on what column that should be in the group by column so whatever group or columns are there in aggregator we are using the aggregator we have to sort according to the grouping condition so that will improve the performance how it will improve the performance let me explain suppose uh, after shorter my all group 10 records will come will be sorted so this suppose this is 400 all 20 records will be sorted okay so now what else like it will go to the index cache and data it will it will use index cache and data guess but how it will improve the performance let me show like first 10 record will go here in index cache we are up we are up we are using some operation so it will hold 200 then second again 10 records will come 300 and third again 400 so after 10 if it gets another set of index like 20 it will complete this portion and it will send to the next transformation so it is improving the performance so it will it knows like it will not get again 10 index cache because this is a sorted input we all know like we will not get 10 uh, at the bottom or at, at the last record so this is how we can increase performance of aggregator now third thing is how i just wanted to tell you some scenario how to get last record from aggregator what we can do with aggregator can we get only last record last record doesn't mean uh, based on salary or based on something last means if a three thirty three zero nine zero records is my last inserted record okay from the system so that should go to the target can we do using aggregator so this scenario is based on this index cache and data cache now I am just telling you how we can do it uh, 
uh, we all know aggregator like in aggregator column okay in aggregator transformation if we do group by if we will not do any group by condition neither group by condition nor any operation so it will be blank that group by condition let me show how I'm just creating one simple mapping to show you how aggregator works or how this last record we can take from aggregator So uh, let me find out my source. This is employee, is uh, my source table. Now let me check uh, I have imported target or not. So I haven't imported target. Let me import uh, import target table. Target import from database. this is my target table now I'm using one aggregator I'm using one expression select all now I'm using one aggregator I'm selecting all the columns and sending to the aggregator So this is aggregator in aggregator if you click go to ports here group by condition is unchecked so suppose if we are not giving any group by condition what would be the output this is my target table okay control s now this is valid valid uh, scenario mapping is valid uh, let me create one uh, a workflow for this and uh, then I will run and check whether what record is inserting into the target so that will be clear So this is succeeded. Let me uh, see the uh, run properties. So uh, we are pulling on 14 records from source, but only one record got inserted into the target. So what is that one record? What is that one record? Let me uh, show uh, what is that one record is actually. So this is our target. Describe. Go to data. So 7934 Miller Clerk 7782. So what is the source? Just let me check. So is this employee table. So this is last record. So last record got inserted into the target table. Why? Why last record got inserted? So let me show how last record got inserted. What I said, uh, aggregator use this one index and data cache. So in this scenario, data cache is no, um, we are not using uh, this data cache. Data cache actually. So what will what we will hold in index cache? We are not doing any group by 
in the aggregator in this scenario so index will hold the group by condition so it will create one default suppose 100 one group by conditions and it will override all the records one by one in the same index so suppose first record got inserted suppose 10 some employee uh, some department number 10 and some uh, other columns are there so it will hold that value in the one single index again second records will hold same index so it will overwrite so this record the, the first record is no more exist second uh, second record is overrided the first record S similar way the third record will override the second record so last record will be the final records and it will move to the target now again one more scenario like can we get distinct value from aggregator distinct using sorter transformation we have an option distinct we can do a distinct but can we do it using aggregator yeah of course if we use group by in all the port it will send only distinguished uh, dis distinct record to the next transformation so thank you for watching this video